hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 3 assignment of the course ethical hacking so guys we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses for the past five years so with that experience only we are continuing these videos so please encourage and support us so that we can upload further videos guys so please watch the video till then don't skip the video guys because if I make any change in between the video you can be able to note that so first question which of the following statement or statements is or are false so guys these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes that come to our notice definitely we'll update that in the comment section so let's see the first solution so for first question the false statement is option a guys ip protocol uses connection oriented routing so actually it is connectionless so mark option a as probable solution for first question next second question second one which of the following is or are false for direct and indirect packet delivery option so for second question the probable answer is option e guys none of this so all these four are probably correct So mark option E, none of these as the probable solution for second question. Next, third question. Third one. Which of the following is or are true for dynamic routing? So for third question, I have got three probable solutions guys. The first one is option D. Failure of the link can be resolved easily. Rerouting is easy. Next option C. Routers consume bandwidth for communicating with each other. And the other one is option B guys. Routing table updates periodically depending on the network condition. So mark three options. B c and d so these three are the probable solutions that i have got next fourth question guys so before getting into this fourth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs for the course ethical hacking we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs case we have collected this so with five years of nptl experience these are the combination of past years NPTEL assignment questions guys so here we are going to provide you a huge number of 300 MCQs guys 300 MCQs no other channel is providing MCQs only our channel that too. huge number of 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link guys so 300 MCQs for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys so pre, uh, in the past we have given for 500 but in order to reduce burden on students on single students so we have reduced the one person price from 500 to just 300 rupees only for two to five persons you can combinedly get it for 500 so per each group it will be 500 so individually you can share that price so for less price only in each individual is getting if you take it as a group even if you are one person no need to worry you can get it for 300 rupees only so share this news with your friends and classmates guys so last time many students have taken our pack and got benefited so discuss this with your friends classmates in your whatsapp college student unofficial groups so make some discussion regarding this and take this pack guys so if you take it as a bulk so if you take it at five persons so individually you can get it for 100 rupees each right so you can save a lot of money each individual will get 300 mcqs guys so this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com i will give the same email id in the description box as well so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions fourth question Which of the following routing flags can indicate route to a single host and not to a network in the routing table? So for fourth question, I have got the answer as option C guys, that is H flag. So mark option C. Next, fifth question. Fifth one.
which of the following statement is or are false for default root so for fifth question also i have got option c as probable solution guys it is specified by an address 127.0.0.1 so mark option c as the probable solution for fifth question next sixth question guys if you feel there should be any change of solution according to you you can give your own solution in the comment section guys so so that we can try to sort it out sixth question which of the following statement or statements is or are true for routing information protocol so for sixth question there are three probable solutions guys the first one is option a rip uh, I mean routing information protocol is an example of interior routing protocol next option b it maintains timers to detect failed links and option c it suffers from counting to infinity problem so mark option a b and c next seventh question guys seventh one in open shortest path first ospf routing approach which of the following packets is used to check if the neighbor router is up or not so for seventh question the probable answer is option d guys tcp three way handshake tcp tcp three way handshake so mark option d guys next eighth question which of the following is true for ipv6 so for eighth question i have got two probable solutions the first one is option a ipv6 address does not have any defined classes and option b it uses 128 bit ip addresses so mark option a and b next ninth question guys ninth one if a packet is to be delivered to all the host in a network what kind of address should be used to specify the destination so for ninth question the probable answer is option b guys broadcast address so mark option b and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so uh, consider the following routing table in a router on which interface will an ip packet with the destination address 144.25.112.40 be forwarded so before getting to know the solution of this i want to once again make you remember guys so for the course ethical hacking we have collected the exam preparation mcqs guys so here you are going to get a huge number of 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so for one person it is 300 rupees only guys for two to five persons if you take it combinedly it will be 500 guys so this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so this is the mail id if you want confirm to make the payment then only mail me guys so this is the mail id because many students are waiting for us so we have to give priority for everyone first come first serve will be followed so in order to give a good service we need the genuine people who need who really want the pack so please mail me only if you're confirmed to make the payment guys so this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com i'll give the same email id in the description box as well guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the last solution so for last question the answer that i have got is option 4 guys option d e3 eth3 so these are the solutions 
for week 3 assignment of ethical hacking course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this news with your friends and classmates guys so definitely don't forget to purchase this 300 mcqs pack guys so you are getting a huge number of 300 mcqs guys so keep supporting us like this guys so like the video subscribe our channel so until the next video goodbye time.